Hey guys, welcome to episode 19 of Crash Nitro Kart. Last we left off, we finished up the trophy races and the boss race of Baron, thus getting our foothold here in the second world. Time to clean up the place. Now we're starting with the CNK race and Relic race of Meteor Gorge. Now it's been a little bit since I've done this. I was about to say, so I kind of don't remember where most letters are, but then there was one right there. Wow, there's like two pretty much near each other, and I'm gonna guess they're gonna put the K near the frickin' end. <laughs> like, that'd be just a middle finger and a half if you were to miss that. The first two laps, you have the other two, so you're fo focused more on the race, and then all of a sudden you bypass the K again. Which, I mean, yeah, it's impossible to really do that if you have good eyes, but hey, what can you do, really? But yeah, that aside, at the time of this recording, we're a little under two months away from Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Good God, is it June 5th yet? I know that was basically a giant contradiction, but I don't care. Is it June 5th yet? Because I'm getting impatient. Like, no joke, I am getting impatient at this point. Plus, when the hell are the next character reveals going to be? Because I will be keeping up with the character reveals. I just didn't react to the online trailer and whatnot, like the main cinematic trailer, just because, well... I feel like it wasn't going to show anything that important, and I would just discuss, like, what actually did show up. But I'll save some of that for the... I believe it's episode 21 where I initially discussed all that. Well, except for the whole online thing, which... Yeah, the only thing I'm really worried about... I don't know if I mentioned this already, but if I did, I'm saying it again. How good is the online actually going to be? We saw how atrocious Dragon Ball Fighters was with its online and how... While it plays pretty good, it's it's almost impossible to get a fucking match. Meanwhile, Pokin plays alright, but there are some instances where you get some major fucking lag. And Ultra Street Fighter 2, it works great on Wraith. The only problem I have is the fact that it's a delay-based netcode. GGPO rollback is a freaking standard nowadays. And am I going to lap somebody? I think I might, with freaking Crash. Tiny, I see you over there. Oh wow, I actually lapped somebody, holy crap. Well, I guess that's one benefit to a rerun. I actually get to lap somebody. Holy shit. Well, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but that wasn't it. Okay. Right, I'll be right back. Alright, Relic Race of Meteor Gorge. So yeah, from now on, when it comes to recording, just to play it safe, I'm not recording until after midnight. Just to make sure there's no background crap that'll pick up on the mic. But yeah, that aside, I just gotta remember where half the fucking boxes are here. Because, full spoilers, in the original recordings, I did get the Platinum in one shot. For the five, I have to redo again, which... Well, yeah. I'm basically doing things the same way I did the Team Cortex run when it, term when it comes to recording. The first episode of each world among the four worlds is basically going to be the trophy races and the boss race. The second one for that world is the first two races, CNK races and Relic races. And the third one for that world is the third and final race of that world for CNK and Relic race and the Crystal Challenge of that world.
that's how I pretty much had it laid out since the start of the Team Cortex run. And I'd say that kind of setup works pretty well for these games. And I might keep a similar setup when I get to CTR. Uh, but there's one in particular where I might break that rule because there is one particular track I might have to leave for its own video. I already mentioned what it is, and it's frickin' Engine Labs. You will understand that relic when you see it. Good God, that relic can go to hell. The Platinum Relic in particular can go to hell. Anyway, that aside, there just isn't much for me to say that I haven't already said, outside of the fact that I missed a frickin' box. Yeah. I mean, I should still be good on the Platinum, but hey. Oh, maybe not. Wow. But one other thing I do want to mention here, in the original recording at this point, I was basically on kind of a rough timer. Because, well, my 3DS camera does have memory limitations because of my SD card being so limited in memory. So, initially, I was on kind of a small timer and had to get these done fast. Which, yeah, I would have guaranteed the Platinum in one shot that way. Uh, and speaking of which, this one might be close. I think I missed a couple boxes, that might be what cost me. No it doesn't! Yes! Okay, I think in this case it might have been 15 seconds. But I'll take it. Right, refreshing recording. Alright, I am back and Meteor Gorge is now cleared. On to Baron Ruins. See, and now you kind of know what the setup was throughout most of this, if you didn't watch the Team Cortex run. If you did watch the Team Cortex run, you already know the setup. It's exactly the same. Only difference is, we're using Team Bandicoot here, not Team Cortex. And just in case, I am putting up that shield. That was primarily so nobody could push me out of the way. Bonk. The K was over here, if I remember. Oh, no, it was off the second jump. That's what I was thinking of. Okay. I had that confused for a second. Uh, I do not usually memorize where the freaking letters are. I mean, in CGR, I kind of did, because I played that game to death. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I think my recording session time might be a little longer than two hours for once. Just because I want to get all this done in one shot. Smack in the nut TNC, which I think I'm the one who planted that too. I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, that aside. There really just isn't much to talk about. I mean, I could talk about some things I've been trying to watch lately. Like, I already watched the original Persona 4 anime, so I tried to watch a little bit of Golden just so I could see what the deal was with that. And let me just recommend something. Do not watch Golden unless you have watched the original first. I mean, you can watch LPs on Persona 4 Golden, the actual game, all you want, and that's fine. I actually consider Golden the better game. 
But in terms of the animation, the original is much better, because Golden is basically all in the filler material. Well, mostly filler material, I should say. Right, I'll be right back. Okay, you may be wondering what the sudden issue is with the window resizing. In reviewing the footage, things were slightly off-centered from where they originally were. But anyway, Relic Ray Sparent Ruins. Let's get this over with. Just so I can actually move on to some stuff I was initially talking about in, I think it was episode 21. Because 20 there wasn't much to talk about. This one there wasn't much for me to talk about. And I was already discussing the whole Persona 4, the golden animation thing. But again, I do not recommend watching that unless you watched the original first. Or if you're going by the games, you can just ignore the original Persona 4 and just watch Persona 4 Golden. Or play the games yourself. I mean, Golden's pretty much the only reason to get a Vita at this point. Okay, that is something I can talk about. Why are developers still putting games on the frickin' Vita when that system is as good as dead? I mean, Persona 4 Golden's like the one thing keeping it alive. Somewhat. Maybe that's the reason why Atlas hasn't brought it to PS4. <laughs> now that I think about it, that would make a lot of sense. But yeah, I love me some Persona 4 in terms of like the story and whatnot. I don't think I'll ever actually get to play the game though. If only because, well, I'm not investing in a PS Vita for one fucking game. I mean, I could get the Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth Trilogy and a lot of the fucking spinoffs. I guess that is something I can talk about, assuming I haven't talked about it already. But there's another Neptunia spinoff coming up, and it looks interesting, and why didn't I not go for the three first back there? It looks interesting, but the fan service. Good God. I mean, I don't mind fan service. Let me just say something. I don't mind fan service if it's done right. And normally Hyper Dimension Neptunia gets it perfect. But there are some moments where I have to look and just go, really? I mean, you action unleashed was one of those games where it's like, really? I mean, you have to know when too much is too much. And this one's another case. I'm gonna kind of spoil something a little bit here, but except for Neptune, the CPUs and CPU candidates have chaos forms. Verge doesn't change much and looks fucking awesome. Noir's looks pretty amazing. Blondes looks pretty cool. But then you get the CPU candidates. And with Robin Ram in particular. I get what they were going for. Tiny Devil and whatnot. But the fan service. Like, really? And they're kids. For fuck's sake. I mean, sorry I had to rant there. But yeah, Baron Ruins cleared. I'll talk more about this next time. Because next time on Crash Nitro Kart, we're finishing up Baron. Later, guys.